Hi there, have you watched the show Shark Tank? If you have not, I highly recommend that if you want to become a millionaire or billionaire investor, this is a show that you must watch. Because a lot of the billionaires are sitting right there where business opportunities come in for them to invest in. And through a checklist of questions, they will decide whether they will invest or not. And this is one thing I found. Most of the VCs, venture capitalists, look for reasons why they should not invest. And when they find the reason, they will say this, I am out. This should be the way that we invest in any types of investment. Look for reasons why you should not buy that stock. Look for reasons why you should not buy that property. But this is particularly very relevant to stock investing. And I want to give you a checklist called SHARK, SHARK. And using this checklist, look for reasons why you should be out of the business. If there's no reason, perhaps you should take a bite into this investment opportunity. So let's come and take a look at it. Whenever a small business come into the show and talk about their business and ask for money for a certain percentage in their business, the first question that they will ask is this, what is so special about your business? Now, the two key questions they ask is, number one, can your business scale easily? So for example, I remember there was one participant who came in and said that she has handmade muffins and they love the muffin, it tastes very nice. And they say, can we scale the business? Can it become 10 times bigger, 20 times bigger? And they realize it is very difficult because she is the only one who knows how to bake this special recipe and it takes a lot of hard work to create that particular muffin. And the shark say, I am out. This business is not for me because it can't scale. The second question they ask is, what is stopping your competitors from doing the same? So I remember this elderly gentleman who came in and sold his idea of the business where he had frozen pizza, where he made them with extra chunky beef and he sells them in supermarkets. So they asked, what is stopping other competitors, bigger frozen pizza companies from doing the same? So because they realized that there's no stopping other competitors from coming in, they say, I am out. So what are some of the special kind of business that they invest in? Are businesses that have patents. For example, there was this guy who came in with a drone. He can fly vertically, he can fly sideways, and he has very nice cameras. The technology impressed them, and they asked him the same, can you scale? Answer is yes, he can actually manufacture more. Can you actually prevent competitors from doing the same? The answer is he has a patent, and therefore, they go on to the next question. The next question they ask is, the human. So who is in the business? Meaning to say, they will ask the founder, what is your story? What is your background? Do you have relevant experience? Now, experience may not be most important for some of the cases, but in some specialized businesses, they are very particular. So there was this guy who came in talking about IT security, how he can secure payment gateways and things like that. And they asked him this question, what is your background? Are you IT trained? And the guy say, well, no, I have the interest in it. I learned it myself. And they say, I am out. In this particular business, the management running a business is very important because it's a very specialized kind of industry. So they will continue to ask another question, how much money do you invest into the business yourself and are you full-time into this business? Now, same thing, when we invest in stocks, when we look at the management, we want them to be fully focused, we want them to have aligned interest. They only make money when the company make money. You don't want to invest in businesses where the management makes like tens and twenty thousands of dollars per month even if their business is losing money. You want people who are all in. I remember there were three founders of this uh, party company and they realized that these three owners are all doing it part-time on their free time. So they say, I'm out. This is just a hobby for you. You are not all in. There are also businesses, right, where they only invest a little bit of their money, maybe a few thousand dollars. And same thing, they say, I'm out. You are not really fully committed to this business. So who are the human in this business? Do they have relevant experience? And are their interests aligned? Very important when you are looking for stock investing as well. Now, the next question that they ask is, tell me about the accounts. Okay, and very interestingly, they simplify the accounts to three main questions. Instead of looking at complicated financial statements, which maybe they will look at it later, but the three things they ask is number one, what are your sales? Does the market want to buy your products and services? If people are paying for it, it's a proof that there's a demand. So what are your sales? Second thing they ask is, what are the margins? So basically they'll be asking, how much do you sell them for in the market and how much does it cost you? So I remember there was this particular couple who came in with a particular laundry solution that can unstring your shirt, make your shirt go back to the original size. And they're selling them for about $20 and it costs them about $18 to make. So there's only $2 of margin, very thin margin. And when the sharks hear this, they say, I am out. 
it's such a dangerous business even though i give you more money and you can actually produce mass gear bring down the volume but it's too little what they like to hear is well my cupcakes is selling like ten dollars per cupcake and it's, it only cost me one dollar to make 90 percent of margin is what they want and i realized that a lot of them at least they want about 50 percent minimally so look at the accounts for the sales the margin and one last thing they ask is do you have any debt do you borrow money from anywhere else this may not necessarily be a bad thing but if they have a debt it will affect the next portion which is the valuation or i call it the returns this is the part if all the first three questions are okay they will ask well you are asking me for hundred thousand dollars for ten percent of your business this means that you are saying that your business is worth one million dollars how so is it worth one million dollars how much do you sell and what kind of profits are you bringing in so they like to use a very simple thing called multiples for example the there was this particular gentleman he sells soap aroma therapy soap that smells so nice and they are making about ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars a year only and they are asking for hundred thousand dollars for ten percent which is one million dollar valuation for the business and the shark say this does not make sense at all you're only making ten to twenty thousand dollars in profit and you want me to expect to believe that your company is worth one million dollars that is like paying hundred times okay of what your business is making and of course the owners they will say but there's a lot of growth potential will become the next big thing every company says that and you guess what does the shark says they say i am out okay it's too expensive for me so even if it's a good business with all the good criteria, the last portion valuation they do not pay more than 20 times for any business for most businesses likely about 10 times or seven times that will be around the range in stock market take this idea with you and make sure your pe multiple is not more than 20 30 40 times it doesn't make sense to buy example amazon at a p ratio of 50 that's my opinion so this is the time where i say i'm out when the p ratio is too high now lastly if everything makes sense there's still a reason for them to be out it is their personal keenness okay so are they keen in this particular business this is the part where i realized a lot of the sharks they will say well this technology business is really amazing i see it growing however personally i do not understand enough to make an assessment okay in that case they will say i do not understand enough to be able to value add to you but in our case as stock investors we will say do we understand enough to know whether this business can continue to grow if you do not understand it enough to say can they grow uh, for the next five to ten years you have to say this i am out now but if all this matches to you for example you're into technology you're into drone and you find a drone company that has it has special they have a passionate management their accounts looks good their sales is increasing their margin is high and the valuation is good and you yourself you are keen there's a time you can say deal i'm in so this is a short lecture on how to invest into stocks and you can actually learn them from shark tank you can learn them from these videos i hope you have learned something please comment below to tell me what else you want to learn i'll see you next time